Hi, this is Jim Mann with Homestyle Southern Cooking, and boy, do I have a simple recipe for you today. As you all know, I love pumpkin, but somebody passed this along to me. I also like gingerbread. Now, I know you usually think about gingerbread during the holidays, but I like gingerbread year-round. Um, and I have a long recipe that I make gingerbread. So I'm going to try this uh, to see how this turns out. It's a cake mix hack that somebody sent me, so we're going to try it. I've just got a plain, I'm not going to show you the name brand, just a plain yellow cake mix, okay? And I'm going to pour the yellow cake mix into my bowl. Okay? And then I'll, it says follow the instructions, okay? So what I'm going to do is on the back of it, it says put a cup and a fourth of water in there. That's my cup and a fourth of water. It says to that cup and a fourth of water, add one half a cup of oil. There's my one half a cup of oil. And then it calls for three eggs. So I'm just making this cake mix just as though you were making, um, just as though you're making a yellow cake. That's two. And here's number three. I've got a couple more that I want to bring to you in the next couple of days that are really exciting. I can't wait to bring them to you. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix this up as though I'm doing a cake mix. But first, uh, you know, I like to stir it around a little bit so it doesn't cause such a dust storm. Stir it up a little bit more. I could, I could have done this in my kitchen aid, but I decided just to use my hand mixer. It's a lot simpler. Okay, I've got this all, all mixed up. That would be just like if I was making a yellow cake mix. But what I'm going to do to this is I'm going to add one half a cup of molasses. I guess my one half cup of molasses. Okay. To that, I'm going to add, I've got uh, some cinnamon. I'm going to add two teaspoons of cinnamon. That's my cinnamon. Now I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of ginger. As one. I should have my other half measure out, but this is fine. And a half of ginger. And then I'm going to add one fourth a teaspoon of nutmeg. I usually like to grate my nutmeg, but I'm keeping this really simple today. Now, I'll stir this in with my cake mix. Okay, that's my gingerbread uh, cake. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my spatula out here. I've got a nine by nine cake dish. Uh, if you wanted to put it in another pan, you could, but I'm just going to put it in this nine by nine and make a square cake. I'm going to spray it. And then I'm going to make a mess here, but after that, <laughs> I'm going to take and put right into my, my pan here. 
I've got my oven set on 350. And this is going to go in the oven for about 30 to 35 minutes. And then we'll come back and we'll, we'll see how this recipe turns out. Um, I'm really excited to see myself. Like I said, a friend of mine sent this to me, and so I'm going to try it. It certainly smells like gingerbread, and it certainly looks like gingerbread. So I'm going to put this in my oven now for about uh, 30, 35 minutes, then I'll be right back with you. Hi, our, our gingerbread cake is out of the oven and it's cooled down. It was in the oven about 35 minutes. So we'll give it a cut now and we'll see, we'll see what it looks like. So you saw how simple it was to make this. So I'm dying to try to see what it tastes like. So, and I want to share this with you. I, I have a friend here named Paula that I met for breakfast a couple weeks ago. And she brought this with me. She brought this little sifter. And she said this little sifter had been in her family for years and years and years. And she wanted me to have it to use on the show. So thank you, Paula. So I'm using it for, for sifting powdered sugar. So it works perfectly for that. Now we'll give this a quick try. Boy, it's really soft texture. Another one you need to try. Who would have thought gingerbread cake out of a regular cake mix? Wow. Thank you for having me in your home again. Please find me on Facebook and, and like me. And if you subscribe on YouTube, I'd really appreciate it. Until next time, try this gingerbread cake from a regular cake. It was so quick and so easy to make. You'll be glad you did with a scoop of ice cream. You take care of yourself. This is Jim Mann saying God bless. This is a great time to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you'll never miss another recipe.